Hello, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, if you haven't checked out your soul contract reading, I posted all 12 signs on Saturday. They're really interesting. And I've used two new card decks and two other ones that I've been gifted. So I don't know, I really recommend that, listening to those, because uh, it's really fun. Today we're going to do a timeless pick a card, twin flame, soulmate, in separation, or no contact, you know, that type of feeling like maybe you're at a distance, you're not speaking, there's something going on, you're in some kind of separation, uh, even if it's just physically, because Mercury retrograde is really bringing in some blessings. Uh, also, the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the Twin Flame Soulmate Mercury Retrograde readings that I posted this week are really great, too. So, you know, just take what resonates with you, as always. I'm just trying to get as much information and fun things out for you guys to enjoy. I hope that you are. I love hearing from you, and I appreciate all of you. You have three different piles in front of you, and I can't really see this, but this first pile, the rock says, it's kind of bright, faith, there we go, faith. So first pile is faith, and the second is hope, and the third pile is believe. Perhaps you're drawn to more than one pile, that's totally fine, or you want to listen to all three as a, as a story uh, and take what resonates with you, you know, as you wish. So if you want to pause it, please do, uh, otherwise we're going to get started. I'm going to move these over here. So we're going to start with the faith rock, right? Have faith. Have faith that things are working out. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the universe that things are working out for you. And, and, and another message or question that's coming through is, what is your faith? What do you believe in? Maybe it's perhaps an opportunity to redefine that for some reason. Okay, we're just going to see what messages are coming through. Twin flame soulmate in some kind of separation or no contact. What is Mercury retrograde doing for this union? What does your person want to say? What's going on? So we're just going to, um, these. this is too hard for me to read. So we're, we're going to take these unicorn cards as, as the words and see what words come out. So we have awareness. I want to get them all out first. Past lives. Oh my gosh. And I just said, check out the soul contract readings. If you haven't done that, I would definitely do that. Because I posted them on Saturday and they're really interesting. So past lives. Uh, they're aware of past life, the possibility, right? There's possibility. Raising standards. They're raising their standards. Spirit's asking you to raise your standards. Have faith. Celebrations are coming. Look at that. Celebrate. I don't know why that song just came to my head. So those are the four cards, the unicorn cards. So we have awareness, past lives, possibility, celebration. So what I feel like is your person's higher self coming through their 5D self, saying, I am aware of our connection. I am aware that we've been together in past lives. I'm aware that we've done this before. You seem very familiar to me. So your person is waking up to the connection or they have woken up to the connection and the possibility that it has. And they want to celebrate this newfound realization, a dream they had, an epiphany, you know, just what, however, they've shifted their awareness has opened up to a higher level that they're now seeing the possibility and they want to celebrate. Also, another thing that I feel is they're aware that they have certain gifts and talents that they weren't aware of before, and it comes from a past life, and so they're seeing endless possibilities for their life and they're wanting to break free and just celebrate life again. Perhaps they were stagnant and stuck, but they're just, they're ready to celebrate. They're seeing, they're opening up to the infinite possibilities that the universe has to offer. That's beautiful. Okay, now with these, which, which is cards? I read them intuitively, but if you know these cards, which wisdom, um, I think Oracle, but something's being activated within your person. I feel like this is like your star family, your tribe, your spirit guides, like all working together to create this like I feel like this is like a portal like almost like the earth is cracking open for for these new beginnings something about ritual 
magic. Maybe your person is aware that you're magical and they're magical and together you can really um, do some beautiful things. Something about ritual, maybe going to your altar and praying about it, manifesting it. It's happening. Something is happening for sure. Okay. Scrying mirror shadows. Oh, look at that. And there's a, I never noticed this before, but it looks like a masculine in the mirror. So I feel like the masculine in this situation is really facing their shadows now. They're seeing the truth. They're looking in to the past in the present moment and looking towards the future. I mean, it's everything happening at once. They're realizing that life is really just awareness and your perception and where you're focused. So they're focusing on their fears and their shadows and really learning about it. See all this spiritual help and enlightenment to bring them to the light. Like things are being brought to the light for your person in a big way. Yeah, look at that. Remembering who they are. Their ancestors are working with them and working with you on this connection. This can be your ancestors coming through too because I see two, I guess, graves out there. So I feel like both sides of the ancestors, both sides of your families are in unison working with you, working with your person to help them remember the connection, help them remember who they really are, rising up out of the dead, laying the past to rest and rising up. You see there, there's, there's a sword there. Could be a wand, maybe on the other side, but I definitely feel like I see a sword and a wand. And oh my God, I just saw there's another person. Look, I feel like this union is resurrecting. Like, wow. And, and wanting to be grounded in earth. Wow. See those seeds of intention that you both have been planting? The seeds of intention that you've been planting, your person's been planting, they're, they're finally starting to see results yours finally starting to see results or you will be soon and it's something to celebrate so they've really been working on something manifesting away something in the material plane that's going to be very abundant very successful they've been grounding themselves in, in mother earth going within connecting to source opening up their awareness facing their fears remembering who they are remembering the contract, right? The soul contracts that they came to experience. And something is coming into blossom and bloom in the material world here. Wow, okay. Now we're gonna see with this Lenormand deck what came out. We have um, what looks like to me a compass. So they're following the North Star home. You see how it's pointed point north. They're traveling, they could definitely Obviously, in separation, they could be at a distance. They could travel. They're very good with the land. You get the earth grounding. Um, very much connected to Mother Earth. Very well balanced. I see this card is all the suits. So I feel like they're balanced with all their kingly energies or queenly energies, and they're following the North Star home. Uh, some someone from the past, right? Past life, and we get a six. Yeah, there's something happening like a, in a big way here. And look at this interesting portal. Now, I just read these intuitively for now. So if you know this deck, obviously take what resonates. But look at this sun and look at this moon. And what I find interesting about this is the masculine is the right side of the body. The feminine is the left side of the body. And you get the masculine sun on the feminine side and the feminine moon on the masculine side. So this is the masculine right? We already felt it in this situation facing their fears. Things are being illuminated that they didn't see before, right? They're getting out of the illusion and focusing on their intuition and the divine feminine energy within. Whereas the feminine in this situation I'm feeling is focus focusing on the masculine sun energy, happiness, joy, abundance, clarity. I mean, just all of this flooding in and together, right? Two faces together, you become one. You walk into this new portal, balance, stability, and the angels are helping guide it. So there's some kind of opportunity, something opening up and look at this beautiful divine feminine ace of swords here with that ace of spades, clear, truthful, honest, ready to communicate, ready to speak her truth. And we get a 29, which is an 11. That's brand new beginning. So the feminine in this situation is ready, poised and ready for the possibility to celebrate. 
I'm, I'm very calm and very peaceful, very happy, very loving. And look at, <laughs> you can't make this up. Here's the ring, the Ace of Wands. I want this new beginning. I've learned my lessons. I want to offer you this ring, this commitment. And to me, you know, the ring, right? I did my first, I performed my first wedding ceremony. It's beautiful because the ring is just never ending. It's just a circle. It's always there. The unconditional love of this union is always there. And what I feel is both the masculine in this situation is preparing for the possibility to celebrate this engagement, this higher level of commitment. It doesn't have to be a ring, actually, but the ring is showing up, so... <laughs> And the feminine, what's interesting about the particular cards that came out in this group, what's fun about this, and I love doing intuitive reading, see what you get. But look, it's almost like, isn't this the hand, right? That's the left hand, right? Like, hello, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I don't have anything on my hands. I, I, I want this ring on my hand. I want this commitment. I'm manifesting this. I'm positive. I've been writing in my journal. I know what I'm manifesting. I'm ready for romance. I'm ready for love. I'm ready for new beginnings. Like, look, I mean... Put it on my finger already. <laughs> is what I'm hearing. And I just, yeah, it's just a really beautiful. It's something, the rituals that you've been doing, the way that you've been manifesting, it's working. So just stay positive. Focus on the happiness and joy, living your best life. Right? Shine in that light because. And I'm feeling it more so now, even that the masculine in this situation is facing their fears opening up ancestors are helping with this rebirth right into the earthly plane of this union of their life and they're following the north star which is you know i was gonna say earlier but now for surely saying the masculine is following the north star home towards the feminine because the feminine is the north star their divine feminine i mean it's in the cards and then the romance angels say you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yeah that's it look at this energy i'm just living my best life and i know that this is real I know that this is happening, so I'm just going to, you know, be patient and, and shine my light. And look at that. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, you're. it's very attractive when someone lives their best life and is independent, and then it drives the masculine wild when the feminine is this way. Um, at first, they might run from it, but then they realize it's the best thing that could ever happen to them. That kind of a feeling is what I'm getting. Finances and career um, issues are affecting your love life right now. So, okay, that makes a lot of sense because there's, I felt there's some kind of something going on where the masculine is going to celebrate abundance, celebrate. See, look, they're tending to their garden. They're tending to their field. Could be the feminine too, but I really feel it that the feminine's already grounded, already knows her worth in this situation and um, could be working on your finances, but I feel this more masculine in nature for some reason. And and also what I'm getting is as the feminine is tending to her own self, living her best life, the masculine is finding abundance, right, in the earthly plane. So there's abundance coming to this union, to your life, to their life. And the, it's just the more you just live your best life, I mean, that's it's very attractive. So things are being worked out like the puzzle pieces are coming together to make this happen. And when it does, when that communication that you've been manifesting comes in, when this offer comes in, be open to express yourself. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you're feeling it and you're feeling like you're the one to make it, um, make it. Or, it, you know, definitely being open and receptive to it. And express yourself. Speak your truth. Don't be afraid to be emotional and connect with someone in that way. Because it's a very beautiful way to connect with someone. And I feel like things are changing in the way that you connect in this um, in this union. And look at this. Wow. Look at the, the tarot cards that came out. Really just confirming, yeah, there's a golden opportunity in the material world. Somebody's moving. Uh, moving jobs. Moving on. Something really great working out in the material world. This can also be an offer of the ring. And so we get this moving in together, higher level commitment, a ring. I mean, I don't mean to spoil it, but I do feel like that's being thought about. Making the decision that I want to go towards a higher level of commitment. So your person, I feel like, is going within, you know, connecting to source, wanting to celebrate. And look, four of wands, that stability, grounding themselves, taking care of their physical bodies, finding that balance within 
an 1111 twin flame soulmate reading or, or card, right? That's divine alignment, divine union, and it's three of cups. I mean, that's that celebration. That's what they're going after. Your person wants new beginnings, wants to celebrate, wants to talk about these new beginnings, this alignment that they've found, that they're finally able to make a decision. And to me, the two of wands is sitting face to face and having a talk. This. So when this happens, because I feel like this is, if it hasn't already happened, it's going to happen uh, very soon here during Mercury retrograde, okay, which is June 18th through July 12th. So there's some kind of communication opportunity to talk. So make sure that you speak your truth when, when this happens. Because the two of wands to me is face to face. We're going to talk about this. Divine sacred union being highlighted and things to celebrate. Weddings, babies, you know, all of that stuff. That's what's coming. Some kind of shift, some kind of uh, thing happening at, at light body activations, leveling up to where this alignment and this union can come together and celebrate it in the material plane. New beginnings. And your final message, the, your angel card, and we'll get some, um, but I don't want to forget to do this. Uh, the angel of balance. I trust my inner balance and I allow changes to happen. When the personality and soul work together, there is a balanced flow of energies through our bodies, feelings, and thoughts. Through this feeling of inner balance, we free ourselves from limitations and allow changes to happen. Oh my God, what did I say? They're leveling up, new level of awareness, balance is coming in. Wow, releasing limitations. That's amazing. Angel of balance coming in for this union. And we're just going to get a few kind of fun messages from my dragon box. From your person to you, from higher self, from their higher self. Your touch sends shockwaves through me. Yeah, something about your touch. Maybe the first time they brushed your arm or your leg or the first time that you hugged or the first time that your hands touched. Something about touch. They think about it. They think about what it'll feel like when you can touch in the physical. It's just something about your touch. My whole world is changing. Oh my gosh. And we just, look at. Through this feeling of inner balance, we free ourselves from limitations and allow changes to happen. They're allowing the changes to happen finally. They're not fighting against it. That's what I'm hearing. And I'm dreaming of you. I'm just always dreaming of you. Let's get a couple more. I'm choosing you. I choose you. That's my choice. That's my decision. That's what I want to tell you. I'm choosing you. You are the reflection of myself I want to see. I admire you. I admire your strength. I admire your independence, your compassion, just, just everything about you. This is sacred divine union. Yeah, if we didn't already know that, there you go. And I can't stop thinking of you. Like, I'm dreaming of you. I'm thinking of you. I'm looking at pictures of you. And I love you. Oh, I love this. And they do love you in their heart of hearts, of course, the sacred lover. There's much love to always be shared. I hope that you enjoyed these messages. Um, I'm going to clean up pile number one. Of course, we want to put this. But yeah, I mean, look at the cards yourself. There's something happening. There's definitely something happening. So the key for you, pile one, is to find the balance within yourself. Okay? Find the balance within yourself. And then you are attracting a like-minded partner, your lover, towards you. Keep shining that light. Okay, now we're going to move to pile two. If you picked the hope rock. What is your person thinking about? What's going on? What's happening in this separation, in this no contact or very little contact? What is Mercury retrograde, which is June 18th through July 12th, bringing for you and this union? We're just going to read the words on this because the other ones are really hard. But you are safe. Fear is an illusion. Okay. So they're working on their courage, right, to take this next step, to purify their lives, to move on into freedom because horses are freedom. Unicorns are magical. And it's, it's balancing the shadow. See the shadows and the light. 
So they're working on that so that that's going to be freedom to them to find that balance. They're, they're learning, your person is learning how to trust, how to trust their intuition, how to trust in the divine, trust that when they take this leap of faith into new life that they're going to be protected and everything's going to work out. You see, ready to jump. Finding that courage. Look at that. Wow. Ready to take action. Like they're ready to take this leap of faith, like new life. Like, wow, just start wanting to charge forward. And what I think is happening is spirit is having them kind of take a pause to make sure that they're balanced, that they're not doing anything rash. Maybe they've made rash decisions in their past because they really just want to run forward. I mean, like, look at all this purification, like being purified in the light. Like, it's beautiful. And look at that. Oh, my God. What did I say? The very first card, the courage to leave a situation behind, leave uh, belief systems, addictions, codependencies, a relationship, a job, having the courage to do that because it's freedom. Like, they're ready. They're ready to take action towards their freedom. Free they're freeing themselves emotionally, mentally. Like, look, jumping in the air because we get a pegasus on, on uh, two of them, okay? So what I feel from this, this is beautiful, transformation of your person. They're finding a balance with their mental thoughts, right? Because we get two pegasus that are air flying, um, and you get two that are grounded in earth, okay? So they're grounding themselves in their emotions as well and in their physical body, taking what they know spiritually and bringing it down to the physical to take action. They have a spirit guide, a person in their life, or this could be the divine feminine in this connection that's, that's really um, helping them to release fears and face the truth, trust for this new, to take action into freedom. Like they're freeing themselves. Freedom. Well, that's beautiful. And look at this. Yeah, it's the masculine. What did I feel? The feminine's helping the masculine. This is the masculine energy coming through and saying, yeah, it's me. I'm, I'm working on finding my courage, trusting God, trusting source. Something about this kind of music, playing music, listening to music. Their sound vibration is helping your person. They may be into music. You may communicate through music. But they're having, they're working on their courage, stepping into their power. Things have been hidden. They've been hiding um, their truth, hiding from the truth. Something's being revealed that's been um, concealed for quite some time, and they're trusting that. They're working on revealing a gift, a talent, uh, their truth, what they really want to do, taking action towards some kind of dream, some kind of creative project out of a relationship, whatever that is. Yeah, look at that. You get concealment and containment. Wow. There is something that's been brewing with your person that spirit's been co-creating with, synergizing with, uh, working it out, and they're about to uh, reveal. Revealing things to you, revealing things to your person about this union, about their life. But I feel like something, they're, they've been working on something, some kind of dream, some kind of goal, and they're working on the courage to step into their power and reveal what they've been working on that's been contained, that they've really put a lot of effort into. And look at that. Boundaries with the sword. Okay? So to me, intuitively reading these cards, they are cutting through some major illusions. They're trusting. They're having the courage. They're ready to speak their truth. They're setting healthy boundaries um, for people and energies that are not serving them they're ready to speak their truth and this is going to be freedom to them to 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 speak their truth about their wisdom whatever they've been working on they're they're ready to talk about it or they're getting ready they're preparing they're trusting in divine timing but they're breaking free they're like cutting the past away i feel like they've been concealing the way that they feel but they're ready to speak it Okay, now with the Lenormand deck, I read them intuitively. Um, if you know this deck, go ahead and feel free to read the, the you know traditional meanings of it. But to me, 36 is 9. That's ending things, knowing when it's time to end, staying committed to your spiritual path. Your person is staying committed to their morals and values, trying to balance what is above, below, kind of a feeling for me. The Six of Wands is victory. 
They may be recognized, very victorious. Whatever they're bringing forward, their truth, their clarity, it's going to give them freedom, financial freedom, emotional freedom, for just freedom to go in any direction. They're going to be rewarded with victory because they've stayed committed to their morals and values and what's right, keeping themselves aligned, trusting, right? Trusting in the divine. They want victory in their life. They're working on it. And look at the wishing well. They're like this is a wishing well. Wishes coming true. 41 is a five. That's changes, contrast, challenges. But look at this. All, you know, you got every aspect. Swords, wands, cups, and pentacles all balanced. So what I feel like is your person is staying balanced through all of these changes. They're really grounded and stable. And they're, they're very uh, confident. And themselves and there was a good reason why they kept some of this stuff secret because they didn't want other people's energies if you have felt like this person has been secretive with you it's not it's not personal is what I'm hearing don't take it personally it's because there were other people in their lives that they're really working to break free from and they didn't trust these people these people are not trustworthy so they're trusting they're being more discerning of who they let in but they're ready to reveal like wishes are coming true. And then we get the king of swords here with the king of, with the king of spades. Um, expansion, growth. So the masculine in the situation, uh, like I said, wants to be truthful. See, we get the masculine energy here, working on their courage, right? Working on freedom, uh, expressing themselves creatively. You know, three is creativity, expansion, growth, timing, trusting in the timing. But there's some kind of communication coming forward that is part of wish fulfillment and commitment. So I feel possibly you'll be getting a, the feminine will be getting a gift of flowers, some kind of new opportunity for new life. And I love the colors being represented here because this is third eye and crown chakra to me being highlighted and being you know purified by the divine. So this is a pure divine um, connection, and it's very honest and truthful. And perhaps that's what the communication is. I want to commit to this. I I feel it's a spiritual connection, but there's something changing in, in your person's life, and it's part of what they've been wishing for. Finally, this freedom. And, and then we get the owls, two owls, right? And this is a seven of pentacles and another three. So expanding, growing, trusting in the divine wisdom that they're receiving, finding the balance, purifying themselves. Something about creating something at night, possibly, in secret, right? Concealment where nobody knows, but they've really been focused. They're taking a little pause, right? Seven of Pentacles is pausing, reflecting. Where do I need to focus my attention? What is my truth? What do I want to do next? But they're really focused, I feel. And they have someone working with them, I feel. Could be a spirit guide, but I felt with this, there's someone that loves them, like a best friend, a sister, a some kind of soul family connection possibly. And it could be the Divine Feminine as well. But if it's not you, Divine Feminine, there's someone that's helping them see this, to find this clarity, to, to feel confident, someone boosting their confidence to to so they can spread their wings and fly. See, we get freedom, and then they're flying, spreading their wings, and speaking their truth finally. Yeah, they're going to get victory because they've been so focused on um, whatever it is that the, the divine has been inspiring them to do and really ready to take charge and talk about it, speak their truth. And then the romance angels, the cards that came out is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Well, Mercury retrograde. There's several other planets in retrograde. I have a planetary alignment playlist Feel free to look through there and um, you know listen to whatever you're guided to. But there's some kind of reconciliation from the past coming. If you know, I feel like both parties have been manifesting this. You see that? Like, oh, finally, finally. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And I feel like this is like, look at this. Okay. The masculine, you know, leveling up and being courage, having the courage to take action, right? 
and finally say something like it's like he's the masculine watches you looks at you thinks you're so beautiful feminine you're like an angel you're like an angel to them right and angels are protecting this and they've just they're you see how peaceful and just see how content the masculine is and the feminine just comfortable in their arms so just trust your intuition on this okay always make this decisions that are best for you but it's happening very soon so clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You're manifesting. So whatever you're manifesting, it is coming to you very soon. A lot of passion and creativity coming in for this connection. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the love. Enjoy the connection. Just allow your light to shine. <clears throat> okay, let's see what tarot cards came out for you, group number two, for this connection. Seven of Cups, okay, we already got the Seven of Pentacles, so they're making it, someone's making a decision. It's time to decide which cup do I want to take, which direction do I want to go. So I feel like decisions are being made during this retrograde time. There may be some kind of regret, some kind of wallowing, some kind of depression, or just a little sadness of what's changing or the past, but I feel like this is what your person's deciding to let go of. That's the decision. I don't want to stay in this energy anymore. This is not fun for me. This relationship isn't good for me. This situation isn't great. I, I want something different. I, I want something new. I want freedom. I want healing. I want to reconcile. You know, that kind of they're deciding to get out of this energy, to break free from whatever whoever this queen is, whatever this belief system is, how they feel about love, the divine feminine, um, making the decision to break free from a toxic situation. Something about love, something about the divine feminine within them, breaking free from a mother figure, having the courage to do that. Whatever this is, it's breaking free from um, the past, that's for sure. Because this, you know, the Queen of Cups, it's like breaking free from deciding to leave whatever didn't work out in love behind, leaving the past behind. Yeah, really getting clear, being almost being blinded by the truth. The Knave of Wands, the universe is giving your person this opportunity. Because see, it's what's interesting about these cards is even though it's wands, it's like a big old freaking sword, okay? So this is that truth. This is that communication coming in. Like, wow, I didn't know this. Like, I feel like the masculine is saying, I want this passionate new opportunity. I want to break free from the past. I'm cutting through the illusions. I'm cutting away people that aren't serving me, things that aren't serving me. And I want this new start. Like, I want to communicate that I want this new start. And it's almost so shocking to the feminine that it's like, oh, my God, really? This is actually happening? So... <laughs> Sometimes we work to manifest, right? We're like, we want, we want, we want. Please give it to us. And then it comes and we're like, oh, wait, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> so what I feel like the universe is saying, divine feminines, get ready for this communication from your divine masculine. Because I feel like that's what's being decided. That's what's coming forward. So get ready. Don't be, don't be um, you know, covering your eyes. Be open to the truth. Be open to the clarity that the universe is giving you, that this, that your intuition is telling you that you're, when your person comes in, are you open? Are you receptive? Because I feel like things have changed. It's different. It's going to be different. Whoever this person is, past life, in your past, in this life, it's different. It's, it's more divine. It's aligned. Always trust yourself. Always trust yourself. And you can ask yourself, Divine Feminine, if you're the Divine Feminine in this situation, what do you need to break free from? What do you need to decide to let go of? Because that's it's that's you being ready and being aligned for this beautiful connection, see? It's just, it's very connective. It's very beautiful and passionate. And your angel message, before we get the Dragon Box messages, your angel message is the angel of order. My outer life reflects my inner order. Yeah, your inner world Whatever's going on inside of you, that's what you're going to see in your outer world. Awareness of order is active on every level of creation. No being or thing would exist 
if the process of order and ritual were forgotten. The sun, the moon, the stars, and all of nature respond with order and beauty to the creator. When there is order, the higher energies flow without hindrance. We feel a great freedom and we don't need to worry about what to do next. Yeah, let go of worry. Let go of doubt. Trust in the order. Trust in divine timing because it's working out. Everything is in perfect order right now. Be confident in that. And we're going to get some final fun messages from my dragon box. From your person to you, from their higher self. I'm feeling overwhelmed right now. So that's why they're really, really working to be brave and to step into their power and take action to freedom. But they're feeling a little overwhelmed with whatever is going on, the decisions they need to make. So they're feeling a little overwhelmed. So sending them unconditional love from your heart space to their heart space will definitely help. But I can't stop thinking of you. And perhaps they're feeling a little overwhelmed because they can't stop thinking of you and they can't figure it out. Why do I think about this person so much? It always comes back to this person. I can't stop thinking of them. I, I, I just can't. And, you know, and your touch sends shockwaves through me. So something about your touch, your physical touch, they want to touch. They want to reach out and touch. They want action forward on this. They want to be close. And all of these cards are touching. So it's like, yeah, they want, they want the touch. I choose you. My decision, this decision I'm making is you. And I'm dreaming of you. Like I'm, I'm thinking about what it will be like. I'm dreaming about what it will be like when we come together. I feel like I've known you my entire life. Yeah, that's that past life recognition there. And I miss you. I, I really miss you. I miss your physical presence. And look at that. I look at your pictures often. Yeah, if, the, if you have social media or they have pictures of you, they can't stop thinking of you. They look at your pictures. They dream about it. They're feeling a little overwhelmed. But they've made their decision. They just have to follow through with the action steps. They want the communication. There's new beginnings coming here. So just trust yourself on this journey. Trust what's happening. And when this person comes back into your life or when they did come into your life, you did feel like you've known them forever. It was like this remembrance of one another. It's a very passionate, beautiful connection. Very loving connection. I mean, I, I really do feel that. I'm going to put these back in for um, pile three. But it's up to you if you want to be open to it. But for you right now, what do you need to let go of? What's your truth? What needs to get in order? Putting your life in order because things are going to change, right? Very soon. <laughs> so get ready to get ready is what I'm hearing for pile two. If you'd like to listen to another pile, please do. We're going to move on to pile three. If you picked this believe rock, believe in your dreams, believe in yourself, believe in this connection and what you know is truth for you. So for this twin flame soulmate in separation, no or very little communication, what is Mercury retrograde, which is June 18th through July 12th, going to bring in for this union? What's going on with your person? We're just going to find out. So we're going to look at just the words on this. Cycles. So they're going through some kind of cycle, ending some kind of cycle. And the butterfly is rebirth. Uh, this to me speaks of third eye activation. Opening up, seeing clearly. Yeah, discernment. Really being discerning of who they're talking with and who they're letting in and what energies they allow to um, be a part of their world. I feel like they're ending some kind of major cycle, but let's see what else. Yeah, they're finding balance, justice, the scales coming into balance. That's, that's what they're working on. So they're really being discerning of who, you know, of more now. I feel like this person was really trusting of people that they thought they could trust and then they realized they couldn't and they got screwed over, stabbed in the back, stolen from, cheated on, whatever that is. So they're being more discerning now and they really want to end these toxic cycles and find the balance and growth. Yeah, it's all part of the growth. They're growing. They're nurturing their inner child. 
uh, focusing on their imagination. They're a very protective parent if they're a parent or if you're thinking of them being a parent with you, they're very protective. But also they allow the child within to fly free and the child to fly free, you know. So they're realizing now that the cycles of life, the journey that they're on is all part of their growth. So they're finding peace with that, I feel. I feel they're, fi they're finding peace with the growth. They want to grow. They don't want to stay in the same cycle that they've been in. They want to grow. So they're really reflecting. I feel a little bit of sadness, though, from this card. I feel a little sadness. So they may be a little sad, even though they know it's the right thing, like that bittersweet feeling, like almost like a, a parent letting go of their child, like moving out of the house or setting them free, they get their driver's license, something like that, where they just, you know, you have to let go, but you don't want to, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's kind of sad, but you know, it's right. So that's what I feel like from your person. That's what I'm feeling. And then with these witches Oracle cards, they have hearth homecoming. Yeah. Somebody's coming home. Wow. I just got the chills everywhere. Goosebumps. Um, there's a homecoming. Somebody's coming home. It could be a child coming home from college or I don't know. Somebody's coming home. Your lover's coming home. Home is where the heart is. Uh, wow. Brewing something up. And look at this. Initiation. Okay. Spirit is initiating your person to new levels. Is initiating your person to a higher level of awareness. Uh, wisdom being unlocked. Light body activations. But they're going through some kind of initiation. Coming home to who they really are. Wow. It's a really powerful transformation. And look at that. Respect. This person has a lot of respect for you. They have a lot of respect for themselves. They have a lot. They, they are um, knowing their self-worth. They want new beginnings in the material world. And to be with someone and partner with people who respect them. And the universe has much respect for this person, for your person, and this connection. Because they're being, I feel like they're being rewarded for whatever lessons they've been learning and finally ending these cycles. And they're going to get this balance coming in. And there's some kind of opportunity, new mo money coming in, in the material world. Something about earth energy with this pentacle. And spell. Manifest. Yeah, there you go. Manifestation. Beautiful. They are manifesting their dreams into reality. They could be writing something down. It could be something about a contract. But this red string makes me feel like this is faded. This is destined. This manifestation, this growth, some, this new beginning in the material world. And them coming home. Coming home to their true divine lover. Coming back home. Healing. But there's something beautiful manifesting in the material world for your person, for sure. And look at this. Here's the man. Look at that, the masculine. And this is new beginnings. Ending cycles for new beginnings, okay? So ending the cycle, wanting the new beginnings. This is the ace of cups, the ace of hearts. So the masculine in this situation is growing and evolving and filling their own cup. And they're being rewarded for this, that they've taken the time to do this. If you felt guided, I believe it was pile number one. If you feel guided at all, or you were trying to decide between one and three, you may want to listen to pile one, because the reason why I say that is because the woman, the feminine that matches this masculine is in that reading. You know, take that as it resonates. But I feel like the masculine is ending cycles, wanting to birth this brand new beginnings, the Ace of Cups. This looks to me like the Ace of Pentacles in the material world, and they're coming home. Like, wow. And they've had, they've gone through a lot. Okay, they've climbed the mountain. They've expanded. They're growing. They're they're taking. See with the stag, they're taking charge of their life. They're taking the lead. This Eight of Pentacles is putting in the work and effort. The masculine has been putting in the work and effort and they're being um, initiated to higher levels and they will be rewarded. So they're really focused on something in the material world, making something real, a creative project, a job, you know, but really making this real. It's uh, expanding, growing, re feeling very creative for these new beginnings. They're willing to put in the effort here. That's what I'm hearing. 
And yeah, look at that. Um, and, and you know how funny that I felt Ace of Pentacles, but let's talk about this. There's nothing is an accident. So I, I, you know, there was a reason that I said they'd put in the effort, but this is the eight of wands. So that's, this is what they want to communicate for whatever reason. I felt it as this pentacle energy. They want to communicate their love that they're willing to put in the effort, that they're taking the lead in their life and they want this communication. They're manifesting this communication. And then look at this, Ten of Wands. They're ready to drop the burdens and move forward. See, they're taking this new opportunity, respecting themselves enough to set healthy boundaries and end cycles and let go. Finally let go of something that they've been hanging on to for a long time. It's a relationship, a family dynamic, whatever this is, it has been gripping them and it's been very burdensome. So I feel like they're finally rising up out of the depths of their emotions, out of the depths of their soul, the darkness, the shadows. And they're, this is 15, which is a sixth. Blessings coming in from past efforts to bring them peace and harmony and bring peace and harmony into this communication for these new beginnings. You see that? And you see how this is a 10 and this is a 10. So they're ending cycles. The 10-10 portal is open for this forward movement. Eight of Wands is also forward movement. See how they're moving forward? out of um, a cycle and look at that there is the eight oh my god that is crazy okay i felt wow i felt the eight of pentacles putting in the effort into this love they're leveling up to mastership you see how something's happening they're being activated to higher levels they have the key the universe is giving them the key they're unlocking themselves they're unlocking this love you see the rose that's in the cage and the masculine has the rose i mean and this is the eight of pentacles that i already felt with this eight of wands so that is what they want to communicate the masculine wants to tell you feminine that they are dropping the burdens or they have dropped them they are refocusing reevaluating putting their putting their focus you know this pentacle on love on unlocking their heart space unlocking the beauty of growth, the beauty of the cycles and the beauty of this love and really wanting this new beginning and offering this rose, like finally I'm wanting to offer it. I'll put in, I'm willing to put in the effort now. Wow. Because the masculine with this card, with the romance angels, they didn't feel like they deserved love before. They didn't feel like they deserved it. They weren't, they didn't feel worthy because someone or a pattern of situations and cycles made them feel less than. But now they know their worth. They're stepping into their power. They're being discerning. They're finding the balance. And they're, they know that they deserve love. And they also know that their feminine deserves their love and deserves them to be balanced and offer this love and communicate their love. Masculine, it's time to communicate your love. It just is. What are you afraid of? I don't know. And look at this. <laughs> Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Instead of forcing something, trying to control it, trying to control who, what, when, where, why, and what time it's letting go, going with the flow. And I feel like they're doing that more now, whereas before they may have, they may have been controlling and manipulating or allowed others to control and manipulate them. This could be what they're, the cycle that they're moving out of. Listen, I don't have to control this. I'm not going to try to control you. I can only control myself kind of a feeling. Because I feel like they lived in fear. Or, or you did, could be, it could go both ways. Like you live living in fear before of opening up to this love. So trying to control and manipulate and, oh, if they don't act this way or that way, I'm, I, I, you know, it's re, being reactive. It's very burdensome to be, um, to try to manipulate and control everything. That's a, that's a huge burden. That could be part of these burdens that are being dropped. I'm not even going to let, I'm going to shoot my arrow of intention. I'm just going to let the universe work it out. That's the feeling. Yep. Because they're forgiving and learning. You see? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And that's what your person is realizing. That's what the masculine within you, that you are masculine, is realizing. Like, I've got to let go of this. I've, I've got to forgive myself. I feel like it's self-forgiveness. And it's almost like the feminine in this situation is begging the masculine to please forgive yourself. No, Please know that you're worthy that you're worthy of love, that you're worthy of this great love, that I know I'm worthy of this great love and I see your value and I see your worth. What Can you see it yourself? I really feel that. So whatever energy you're sending out to your masculine feminines, they are feeling it. So, you know, ask yourself, what are you sending out? Um, you know, and then be opening. I feel like there's an opportunity coming in this retrograde for this communication to unlock something, Right? And as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. So be open. 
have fun, be lighthearted. There may be children involved. There's a child here. So, and there's a child here. So there may be, this can be nurturing your inner child, being open, lighthearted, fun. But this also can be that there is a child and possibly a daughter involved because, um, and I feel like it's the feminine that would have the daughter if that resonates. Like a single parent, like finally coming together with someone you can trust, possibly, you know, reuniting with their father if that's your case. But, um, you know, be discerning. It's your choice. But things are changing. And look at this. We have the Seven of Swords, which is learning the lessons. Very toxic lessons. Deception. That, that control, manipulation, all of that is, is changing. Lessons are being learned. Or they've been learned. And look, the Ace of Cups just wants to show itself again. How beautiful is that? Yeah, it's new beginnings. Romance of a lifetime. Your person purified in the light, filling their own cup. I'm ready. And this is spirit saying, are you ready? Have you filled your cup? Are you open? Are you receptive to this? Because there's brand new beginnings being offered. Ending the tough cycles. And look at this, the ace of swords too. Amazing. Yeah, there's communication coming in. Mercury retrograde is um, actually very positive, I feel, this time. There's a positive spin on communication getting clear with what you want, speaking your truth, not being afraid to, because look at the, all these new beginnings. See, I felt this new, because this is mental energy, seven of swords, deceiving yourself, battling with yourself, battling with the ego. Somebody in this situation has been in a battle. Your person most likely has been deceived by others, but now seeing the truth, right? Being more discerning here, ending those cycles of letting others take advantage of them, stepping into their power, finding the balance and its growth. They're growing. See, Ace of Cups is self-awareness, uh, connecting to their emotions, getting clear in their mental space for this communication, you see? And look at that, Ten of Cups. Peace, contentment, happy family life. That's what's happening. That's what's transforming. Things are being healed. And there's communication coming in for these new beginnings to have happiness, peace, and joy, Ten of Cups, fulfillment, being feeling fulfilled. Wow, that's beautiful. Before we do your Dragon Box messages, the angel card that came out for you is the angel of courage. My heart is open and full of courage. Courage is an action that springs from the heart. All action inspired by a center of true love brings with itself security and firmness that cannot be disturbed. To be courageous is to know that fear offers no resistance to love. See, It's all about the love. There's love here. And your person is working on being courageous and ending cycles and flying free and communicating. Letting go of that control, hard to do, hard to balance that ego sometimes, but, you know, they're working on it. Message to you is I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now. Yeah, so all the changes, letting go, forgiving, learning, it's a little overwhelming. We understand that, right? Overwhelmed by the connection because I can't stop thinking of you, right? I feel like I've known you my entire life. Yes, they have. And your touch sends shockwaves through me. I swear this has come out in every single pile. So something about physical touch, perhaps in this new cycle, the way that things are turning out for the collective in general is that you're going to have physical communication, physical touch. Like something's going to happen in the physical world. That's what's changing. I look at your pictures often because you're so beautiful. My whole world is changing. That's why I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, okay? My whole world is changing. How is it possible that someone like you loves me? So that may be what has held this person back that they want to find courage with. They didn't feel worthy, right? Didn't I already feel that? I felt like they, they didn't feel like they deserve love and they can't. It's so hard for them to even imagine that someone like you, someone as amazing as you loves them because people have broken them down, you know, in the past and they didn't believe in themselves, but now they are. You're helping them. This connection is helping them believe in themselves. I want to get a few more here. I am humbled by your love. Yes, they've been humbled. That ego has been popped and kind of sort of deflated to a normal uh, size <laughs> and balance I'm hearing. And I'm saying that in fun, but they've been humbled by your love. That's what I'm saying. How is it possible that someone like you loves me? I'm so humbled by your love. Your love is so pure. It's so strong. It's so beautiful. Like, like it's everything I've ever wanted. Like, I'm so, like, look at the masculine attentive. Like, I want to know everything about you. You are so interesting. You're so funny. 
masculine, when you finally open up to this connection and you finally allow yourself to be free and get to know your sacred lover, I'm telling you, you're going to be so delighted by what this person has to say and what they have to offer. That's what I feel like. Just happiness, best friendship, you know. I'm dreaming of you. Yes, I am. You're, when you're dreaming of me, I'm dreaming of you. We're connecting in the spiritual realms. It's true. And I long to be in your arms. Yeah, so your person longs for your touch. They long to be in your arms. That's what they think about. Little overwhelmed. So sending calming, loving energy from your heart space to their heart space will definitely help. See them as in their power, being courageous and making decisions that are best for them and being truthful and honest and open and just, you know, for these new beginnings. Just see them that way because this is what they're thinking about. They don't want to deceive themselves any longer about how beautiful this love is. I want to communicate this love. That's what I'm feeling. Beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed these. I appreciate every single one of you, and I hope you have a blessed day.